So I'm just going to show you how to remove this top uh, of the flush buttons. So depress the half flush button. Uh, insert a screwdriver. There's a little lip there which allows you to lift that the half flush button, uh, the full flush button, sorry, out. And the buttons just slide out like so. And you've got a little plastic screw down in the centre here that you need to remove. lifts off. Obviously if you're going to remove the cistern you want to get all the water out. So turn your tap off there. Flush as much as you can. You'll probably find there's still a bit of water in there which you'll need to either sponge out or use a rag to remove all that water so that when you go to lift the, the cistern off you don't have water going everywhere. So it's a good idea to take a photo of how everything is lined up. So I've got this float here on the left hand side. Take a photo or video. Now I'm going to remove this cistern here so you can see those two screw holes, Phillips head screws. So you don't need to put a screwdriver in them. All you need to do is go to the bottom of the cistern and you'll see these wing nuts, one either side. So just take them off. In addition to removing the wing nuts, obviously you'll need to disconnect the inlet. So turn it off, unscrew. If you're worried about too much water on your floor, put down a towel or a couple of towels. So once you've got your system back in place, um, you've done up the wing nuts. Um, so before you connect the um, the inlet or the supply for your water uh, and you want to test for any leaks so if you grab the bucket that you use to sponge out the water you can tip that back in. With this I had a leak um, when I was flushing it it was leaking around the base here so I'm just going to double check that make sure that's not leaking before I go to the trouble of hooking my supply line back up. It's probably a good idea not to fill it up too much, just put enough in to ascertain whether it is going to leak or not because you're only going to have to sponge it back out again if it's still leaking. So. Here's the, um, the secondary seal that goes between the toilet bowl and the system. So I'm thinking that's probably where it's leaking, most likely where it's leaking. Um, don't know if you can see the different profiles there. But on one side it's sort of more flat and <coughs> on the other side it's more domed shaped. So I'm just going to try and insert it the other way. So I think the domed side goes down, it seems to sit better seat there. Okay, one thing I've just noticed um, to be aware of is that these two holes here are two different sizes. So for the different flush buttons Pretty sure the full flush goes towards the back, so the bigger hole needs to go towards the back. Just use a um, screwdriver to locate it, push it down into those, so those two holes lined up. Now it's sort of held in place, now we just need to insert this screw here. Now you don't want to over tighten that because it's only you know, fairly fragile plastic, quite easy to break. 